Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial, let's see. Today I'm going to talk about about some things, about one thing that you need to bear in mind if you want to work with the Gazebo Bros Control plugin. And, and I'm doing this video right now because I've seen some people that are struggling to complete the ROS Control tutorial from Gazebo. This one here, no, not this one, sorry. Let's put Gazebo's control, okay. There it is. So I've seen one question in, in Ross Answers related to this. So I decided to make this video to, to try to help you and, and put this clear. So let's, let's try to reproduce this, uh, this tutorial very, very, very quickly. For that, I'm going to go to the ROS Development Studio, as always. There we are. So now I'm going to, to create a new simulation from zero. Let's call it, I'm going to use Gazebo 7. Let's call it Robot Control, for instance. Create. Excellent, here we have it, and then I'm going to, to launch it. And I will wait a few seconds until, until the simulation is loaded. Excellent, here we are, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to download the Airbot packages, the Airbot simulation packages. Uh, there we are. Let's go to the GitHub. Yeah, here we have them. So let's download this GitHub into our simulation, this repo. I'm going to do a clone of the repository here. There we are, here we have it. No, here we have it, sorry. Yeah, here, here it is. So here we have the Airbot description and Airbot gazebo packages. And Airbot control, which is the one you are supposed to, to create while doing the, the tutorial. So, so yeah, let's let's launch the simulation. I'm going to select the Airbot Gazebo, Airbot World launch file. Let's run it. Excellent. And here. If we check the logs, we see this error here, the no matching hardware interface found for hardware interface effort joint interface. Okay, so this is the key of the problem you are you are having. Okay? Because now if I try to, to reproduce the tutorial, I would have to launch this Airbot control launch file. Here we have it. Here we have the ROS controls package with the Yalm file, yes, which is this one here. Here we have the Yalm file and the launch file, which is this one here, the Airbot control dot launch, yes. So now you are supposed to launch this Airbot control launch file and you will be able to control the robot, yes? But what happens? Let's open a new shell. So if I try to... launch this file... there we are. Yes. 
here the controller spawner keeps waiting for the controller manager service which is not loaded now it will appear here a warning there it is controller spawner could load find expected controller manager ROS interface yeah so you keep getting this error and why is this happening well this is happening because when you launch the simulation although it seems that everything has gone okay you are having this error with the hardware interface so how can you solve this? In order to solve this, you have to come to the errorbot description package, open the urdf directory, open the errorbot.chagro file, and down here, where the transmission tags are loaded, right here, you have to take out this hardware interface. Yes, because this is deprecated. This is not used anymore. And this is causing an error when you launch the simulation that is blocking the simulation when it tries to, to load the controller manager, yeah? So if you remove this and you save this file, so you have four, one here in the, in the join one, motor one, join two and motor two, yeah? You remove this hardware interface section that is before the effort joint interface yes this here you remove it you save the file and then if we launch again the simulation the airbot world dot launch file let's launch it again If you have a look at the logs now, you can see here that it says loaded gazebo ROS control. Yes? Here you have it. And that fatal error is not appearing anymore. Yes? So now, if we try to repeat again this command to launch the errorbot control launch file, It will load, it will start the controllers without any problem. Here you have the Genetic controller, the joint one and the joint two. Yes. And of course, let's open another shell. If you do a ROS topic list, you will get the topics where you can communicate with these joints. Yes. So now, if you come here and you execute one of these commands, uh, this one's here. If you go here and you execute one of these commands, you will see that you are able to control now the joints of the robot. Yes? So remember, you have to fix the transmission stack. This here. Okay? And well, that's all for this video. I hope it has helped you. Maybe this is a problem you are having, maybe not, but in case it is, well, this is the solution to, to this issue. All right. So yeah, that's all. I will close the simulation and see you soon in another video. Goodbye.